this tour is an important component of what we do in the Chamber of Commerce Foundation by bringing uh, companies together across sectors and industries to learn, network, share and identify new collaboration opportunities for enabling a more circular economy. I've been talking to a lot of businesses this morning and they're here because they're also looking for ways to optimize their resources. They're looking for ways to reduce costs, to uh, increase the viability of their businesses. We're working so hard here in Phoenix to build one of the most sustainable and climate resilient cities in the world. Well, we're showing them what we are doing is specifically for the city of Phoenix and our resource innovation campus, as well as other businesses locally, whether it's Intel, Republic Services, Mayo Clinic, JD's Farm, which is going to be a small farm here in Phoenix, so we're excited to see that. What you're going to hear about today is about some of our partnerships that we have here in the city of Phoenix and some of the exciting things that we're doing uh, to repurpose our trash and to build that circular economy. Uh, so we're getting a lot of attention, a lot of traction, national and international attention, and so we just want to highlight some of that with you today. We saw great examples of innovation and also practical research. I think one of the, of the most pleasant surprises is the application of spent grain, actually, that could potentially come from brewing operations. So we came over here to learn from other companies that are already advancing their circular economy. We are a supporter of the Chamber of Commerce Foundation. Their events are always informative. This is the second one I've attended. With the reputation that Phoenix has for their progressive stance on sustainability, it just seemed like where I should be. If you look at the concept of you're taking something that would otherwise be waste um, and turning that into a profit-making entity, then that is something that, that really any company can, can look at. We found it a great opportunity to kind of get out and see what other companies are doing in this space, as well as showcase our own infrastructure and our own progress toward the circular economy. And we highlighted specifically our oil and lubricant practices. So we highlighted an area where we've used product innovation and new emerging technology to reduce our oil consumption by 50%. You know, I think it's beneficial for these other businesses to really know that Phoenix is the leader as it relates to sustainability and circular economy, as well as I would like other businesses to understand the importance of circular economy so they can remain a viable business for the future. There are going to be issues with resources and we're hoping that they understand that and they can make changes so they can be a viable business for the future. Phoenix has a very strong strategy on entrepreneurial efforts, whether it's on the technology front, whether it's on innovative fronts, whether it's with trash. Um, regardless of what it's with, growing our own companies is our strongest focus that we have in our market today. So in terms of what's next for the Foundation on the Circular Economy, we are going to continue to be very active on the issue. Uh, we are organizing our uh, third annual National Circular Economy Summit. Uh, we're also putting together a circular economy toolbox uh, for companies to measure their level of circularity and to be able to communicate that from an impact perspective. We'll also organize a series of educational circular economy seminars for businesses to learn more about what the circular economy is, how do they make the business case, and what are the implications and applications of the circular economy. And so this tour really fits within a broader program and strategy for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation. There's a lot of value that the business community gets uh, by participating in these tours. Number one, just the opportunity to network with each other to just share ideas, uh, challenges, and best practices. It's also an opportunity to identify uh, new business innovations and ways of working together, recognizing that no one company can do it alone. And in these types of uh, environments, we're able to get out into the field and observe what leading companies are doing to close the loop so that ultimately they can take uh, those ideas and solutions back to their own organizations and communities. This is an innovative way to look at their entire work stream and their entire product cycles and innovation networks. I want them to see that Phoenix is a leader in, in this field. I want them to know that it's a possible place that they could come and relocate here in the city of Phoenix, as well as to see what other businesses are doing and just to provide some 
opportunity to talk to other businesses and see what they're as well. Phoenix has orchestrated one of the most dramatic sustainability comeback stories in the country simply by rethinking basic functions as a city. Transportation, development, and of course, waste in the area of green energy. We're innovative and that this is a place that they can come to try new things, get things started for their businesses. Hearing about these examples is wonderful and then also being able to talk with everyone here and take a step back and, and look at how can at a macro level we, we take these concepts and apply it to our specific businesses. Um, it's a great opportunity and I hope to uh, come back next year.